Hi friends, welcome to today's class. The today's question is, if four men or 16 boys can complete a project in 40 days, in how many days will 3 men and 20 boys complete the same project? So this is a or kind of problem. 4 men or 16 boys can complete the project in 40 days and then 3 men and 20 boys, how many days will they take to complete the same project? So this is a or and problem. This is a very common uh, type of problem. Uh, problem that comes for competitive exams. So 4 men or 16 boys can complete the project in 40 days. Then how much time will 3 men and 20 boys will take to complete the same project? So that's a given question. So whenever the number of persons or number of days are given, we have to use a direct formula. So that's the point you have to remember. In, in the cases where the number of persons or number of days are not given like A and B can do a work in 5 days and 6 days respectively and how many days will A and B working together take to complete the work. So for such kind of problems you have to use the chocolate approach. But here the number of persons are given, number of days are given so you can easily use the formula. So that's the key in remembering or to determine for what kind of problems you have to use the formula and for what kind of problems you have to use the chocolate approach. So here the formula is P1 T1 by W1 is equal to P2 T2 by W2. Here W1 and W2 are not given. What is the work done? It's not given. So we can simply write it as P1 T1 is equal to P2 T2. So here what the problem is it's given. 4 men or 16 boys will be able to complete the work in 40 days. So in P1 we can write it either in the form of men or in the form of boys we can write P1. P1 either we can write 16 boys are doing the work in 40 days. Then whatever we are writing here the P1, the unit of P1 and P2 should be the same. If we are writing P1 as men, P2 also should be men. If you are writing P1 as boys, P2 also should be boys. So that's the only thing we have to take care of when using the formula. And in order to, so in order to have uh, both boys in the same, uh, in the formula, we can just find out boys in terms of men. So 4 men is equal to 16 boys. So from that we will be getting 1 man is equal to 4 boys. Okay, so now we can easily substitute man in the second formula. Second formula is written 3 men plus 20 boys. So 3 men plus 20 boys will be equal to 3 into 4 boys plus 20 boys. We are just substituting man by the corresponding number of boys. So we will be getting 32 boys. So now our problem became direct. So we can just substitute P1 is equal to 16 boys. Then T1 is equal to 40 days. And what about P2? P2 is equal to 32 boys. Now both of these are in the same units. So it will easily cancel out. And what is T2? That's what we have to find out. Substituting the formula. 16 into 40 is equal to 32 into T2. So just cancelling out. 16 into 2 is 32. So T2 will be equal to 40 divided by 2 is equal to 20 days. Now example number 2. 15 women or 10 men can do a piece of work in 55 days. In how many days will 5 women and 4 men working together do this work? The same kind of or and problem. So it is given 15 women or 10 men can complete the work in 55 days. Then what about 5 women and 4 men working together. How many days will they take to complete the same work? So here also just a direct application. P1 T1 is equal to P2 T2. So same way we have to represent both P1 and P2 as women or men. So let's find out 15 women is equal to 10 men. That means 1 woman is equal to 2 by 3 man. So now we can easily substitute this uh, woman in the second formula. So here actually our question is 5 women, 5 women plus 4 men so that we can write it as 5 into 2 by 3 man. 1 woman is equal to 2 by 3 man. So 5 into 2 by 3 man plus 4 man. 4 men. So our answer will be 10 by 3 men plus 4 men. So it is equal to 22 by 3 men. So now we can have our substitution in the formula. P1 is equal to 10. It's given 10 men. So P1 is equal to 10 men and P2 is equal to 22 by 3 men. And what about T1? T1 is equal to 55 days and what about T2? That's what we have to find out. So substituting will be getting 10 into 55 is equal to 
22 by 3 into T2. So just cancelling out. Here 2 and here 5. Then uh, again we can cancel out 2 and 10. So we will be getting 5. So our total answer will be 5 into 5 into 3. So which will give us 75 days. So key is to just convert this 5 women and 5 women and 4 men to the same units. Either to men or to women. And then you substitute in the direct form. Now, now example number 3. If 5 men or 8 women can do a piece of work in 12 days, how many days will be taken by 2 men and 4 women to do the same work? So 5 men or 8 women are completing the work in 12 days. Then how many days will 2 men and 4 women take to complete the same work? Again an or and problem. So same way we can use the direct formula P1 T1 is equal to P2 T2. So here 5 men is equal to 8 women. So we will be getting 1 man is equal to 8 by 5 women. So this will become equal to 2 into 8 by 5 women plus 4 women. So which is equal to 16 by 5 women plus 4 women. So that will give us 36 by 5 women. Now we can substitute in the formula. P1 is equal to 8. It's 8 women. And P2 is equal to 36 by 5 women. So both are in same units. And T1 is equal to 12 days. And what about T2? That's the question. So substituting 8 into 12 is equal to 36 by 5 into T2. So cancelling out, we'll be getting 3 here. And so our answer will be 8, equal to 8 into 5, 40. 40 divided by 3 days. And when representing it as a mixed fraction, we will be getting 13 1 by 3 days. Thank you for watching.